Hey everybody, this is David. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up HubSpot CRM. Whether you're a one-person shop or a thousand, you got to have a CRM. I'm going to go over how to set this one up for free. So we're on the HubSpot.com website right now, and I'm getting ready to get started and set up an account on HubSpot CRM. There's a lot of CRMs in the marketplace. I've used many of them. I've been using HubSpot CRM since it came out, probably because I'm a HubSpot Enterprise account holder and I was a beta customer on HubSpot CRM. But I have to say for free, even if you do include their sales plugin, which does cost per user, their free CRM is, is, is all you need really when you're just starting out with your tech infrastructure in your business and you want to start to include a CRM. Um, it, it's going to have all the features that you're going to need. I'm going to show you that as we go. So let's go ahead and click this get started for free button and sign up an account. So pretty simple. Um, HubSpot does a really good job with onboarding. You can kind of see the messages popping down at the bottom. They're going to give us help as we go along. Once we get started here, they're going to give us a whole bunch of help to get imported. Let's go ahead. I'm going to actually put the www on my URL. I don't have to, but just because. And you'll see that this is going to take us right into our brand new HubSpot CRM. So let's give them our name and a password. And you can see they kind of let us know when we're meeting all their qualifications. I'm not going to remember that in my browser. And there we are. We're logged in. We've got an account. And now you'll see that they'll take us through an onboarding where we can start to configure more. Um, I'm going to just say we're a small company and we're not using the current CRM. So as part of their onboarding process, they let you sort of pick what's important to you to set up first. It's they're telling you to pick two, and they're going to set up a custom track to get us started quickly. So again, they're really big on the onboarding. So uh, let's take the sync the emails between Mailbox and CRM. That's one of the more powerful features um, that I really like. And uh, let's say that we're going to uh, build a sales pipeline. And let's see what that provides us all right nicely done continue to my account and we are in we are now live and into our brand new CRM now you'll see it took it took us right into the contact section of the CRM and it's loaded up a little default contact here but also notice at the top here there's a setup progress and it says we've got zero of five steps let's show these steps and you'll see that it'll actually take us through the additional setup that we need to do basic stuff confirming your email address there's that sales chrome extension I'll talk about that in a second very useful but there are some paid features in there um, of course you want to connect to your email box so that you can start to link up any replies and messages that you send out uh, set up your deal stages very critical for your pipeline to be personalized for your business and of course you want to bring your other teammates into the CRM we're not going to go through these right now I'm going to go ahead and hide these steps and let's take a quick look at the features in the CRM, you'll see it's going to have all the major components that you need if you're just starting out with a CRM. And, and, and I'll point out as I go what's free and what's not free in this. Now, since we're on the contacts, let's take a look at this sample contact here. First of all, you'll see you're able to set up all sorts of views. So as you start to build out your contact list, you'll see add filter. It's going to be very easy for you to filter this contact list by all sorts of data. That's going to make it very easy for you to track your contacts, know who you want to target. Let's click inside of one. One of the things I like about HubSpot is it's got a very nice timeline. You'll kind of see here, it's kind of in this sample showing you what it looks like. We're able to track all the times we have meetings with customers. As you create tasks and assignments for yourself, you can see that. You can track your phone calls. That's a, If you do it through HubSpot, that's a paid f component but you can manually type in as you make phone calls and leave messages. And then there's all sorts of things that you can integrate with their marketing plugin uh, through Zapier to get other notes and things added into here. And you'll see on the uh, left-hand side, there's all sorts of properties that you can kind of set up here to show the main things about a customer that you want to see uh, right off the bat. And if I go down, we can take a look at their, their deals that we have open or closed with them. We can see information about the company and you'll notice also there's little icons and things here that we can hyperlink and launch out 
into the uh, information like their LinkedIn page that HubSpot will automatically bring into a contact record. Um, so lots, lots of, it's a very robust sort of profile for your customers so you can have all your information at one place. And that's really what you want in a CRM. You want to have all the communication, all the activity around a customer in one place. You'll see here at the top is how you add those notes. If you want to log a phone call, this will tie into their plugin, which we don't have. You'll see here calls are faster and easier with HubSpot sales. That's that paid plugin we'll talk about. But log into activity, you know, you can log a call, an email, a meeting manually, create your task, all those sorts of things. Schedule uh, a meeting, and there's all sorts of integrations that you can do with your calendar um, for this as well. So pretty robust in the contact section. Let's start at the beginning here. Dashboard, pretty basic. I mean, we're not going to have anything in our dashboard at this point. But as you start to do your activities, those meetings and those emails and those calls, you'll be able to see recent activity here for you and your team. As you start to make your deals, you'll have a deal forecast pop into here. And you'll be able to get some metrics on, you know, all the contacts you're created, how often you're talking to them, new deals you're created. It's a pretty good dashboard once you start to build in. And you'll notice here, you can kind of filter this by your team members. So if you have a sales team, you can quickly go and look at each individual uh, sales member uh, quickly. Uh, companies won't spend too much time here, but what's nice is as those contacts come in, it's going to take those email domains and automatically populate in these companies if you want them to. And then you can also populate this manually as well. So it's a nice tie-in between the contacts and the companies. Now, two of the more important pieces, tracking your deals, building your pipeline. Uh, they have a couple different views on how you can look at your pipeline. You can set up all sorts of views on your pipeline just like you can with um, the contacts so it's very nice to be able to filter that uh, so that's a nice uh, method very easy to edit your deal stages as I mentioned so that you can personalize your deal stages so great thing same thing with task tasks are very important these are like your reminders these are the things that you need to do uh, as you go through progressing a deal so again same kind of interface here you can see that I can go through and look at not just my task but all my sales teams tasks see what's overdue what's on their plate so very nice to do and I can even create tasks and assign that to people which is very useful and now the sales tools is where you get into some of the things that are paid um, you know you can install that Chrome plugin and there'll be a couple things free for example templates I believe they let you have five templates for free uh, out of the box and then if you want to upgrade more than five then you pay for that plugin these are really useful if you're sending the same email over and over again this allows you to have a template that's going to pre-fill things from your contact and send those templates in fact it's, it's integrated nicely it might not be yet because we haven't set it up our email but if yeah I've got to set my email up but right from here I can pick a template and have that automatically sent out to a customer uh, sequences takes those templates and, and, and puts it on steroids. This is where you can automate drip campaigns. You can enroll people in drip campaigns and you'll see it requires Sales Pro. So this is one of those pro features that you have to pay for. Documents is nice where you can upload um, documents into HubSpot and send a link and then that link becomes trackable so you can kind of tell as they look at your document. Um, we use attach.io for this but this is a nice it's built in and you do have to pay once I believe they might give you a couple for free but then over a certain number of documents you have to pay for that in the sales pro um, prospects are actually getting retiring this from what I understand so I'm not sure um, this might be going away so I'm not going to spend too much time on that now meetings is very similar to a tool I talk about a lot called Calendly um, and they're making a big interface revamp on uh, their meetings so this might be something worth looking at if you are going to use that HubSpot Sales Pro and there it is you see that $50 per month per user then definitely uh, might be all you need so this is very nice kind of like Calendly makes it easy to schedule meetings uh, the messages is new this will be coming soon but this will be website chat you'll see how you can install this this will probably integrate really well so as people chat and tell you who they are leave their email address it will automatically populate contacts and things like that you'll have the chat history so again nice and again if you're doing that HubSpot Sales Pro it's going to be included 
you know, it's not going to be included free with the free CRM. And then call queue is also a sales pro. And that's if you want to have like a dialer and you want to start to uh, automatically have things dial out, that's going to be in the sales pro. So lots of really cool tools uh, that you can upgrade to. And, and if you're a small team, that $50 a user is probably going to be worth it. I think they have a minimum of two users on that um, so that's where they get their money is on the sales tool pro but a lot of these tools if you're just starting out you don't need them you could definitely get away with just tracking your deals and your task and integrating with zapier which is free so that's sort of the walkthrough of the crm it's a lot of stuff we're going to do to go in and just go through the settings here one by one and set everything up but it's just that easy to get started and as i mentioned uh hubspot gives you ton of resources you'll see here training lots of information out there on how to use the uh, technology uh, and also you'll see here down in the bottom help which will give you the ability to search and find in context help and actually head out to their community uh, for support so hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, check back with us at techsmartboss.com for more videos if you're watching this on youtube subscribe to our channel if you're on facebook like our page join our um, private facebook community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are trying to grow and scale their business through affordable software and just like this hubspot crm for free you can't get any any more affordable than that um, talk to you next time